Welcome. All right, so what we have here is one fourth plus one half x equals five fourth. And you know, there's, there's two ways we can kind of do this. And I'll, I'll kind of show you the, the one way we could solve it. And then also there's an easier way that can kind of get rid of the fractions. So to kind of go through the two cases, all right, and let's actually just do it two cases. Plus one half x equals five over four. All right. The same thing with the fractions is, let me see if you know what to do here. 3 minus 2x equals uh, 15. Okay. Do you know what to do first here to solve for this equation? What would you do? Three. Subtract 3 on both sides, right? All right. So what, it's the exact same thing. What are you going to want to do here? Subtract 1 fourth. Subtract 1 fourth. Very good. So now, 1 fourth minus 1 fourth is 0. 0 plus 1 half x is just going to leave you with 1 half x equals, now we've got to do 5 over 4 minus 1 over 4. And it might be helpful to rewrite it in that format. Remember, when you add, add or subtract fractions, you have to make sure the denominators are the same. And then you subtract or add the numerators, and the denominator remains the same. So 5 fourths minus 1 fourth is? 4 fourths is equal to? So now we have 1 half x equals 1. Now what would I need to do is look at my x. And so here, now you'd have negative 2x equals 12, right? So now what do you do with this? Divide by negative 2, right? So what do you think you'd have to do here? Divide by 1 half. Now what's the, instead of, a lot of times when we talk about dividing, instead of say dividing by 1 half, we could say you could do multiply by what? Um, Close. 0.5 is just going to be the fraction, is going to be the decimal equivalent. But when we're dividing, what we want to do, our whole point is we want to get x, we want to get this to be a 1. We want 1 half to get to 1. So 1 half times what would give you 1? Well, 1 half times 1 half will give you, you know, 1 half times 1 half equals 1 fourth as you multiply across. So what times 1 half would give you 1? Two over one. And what that is is the reciprocal. So the key term is if you remember, when dividing, when you're looking at dividing fractions, you can multiply by the reciprocal. That's a way to algebraically get through it. So you can multiply by the reciprocal. Or, and even just even not even think about dividing fractions, you, whenever you have a fraction times your variable and you just need to get rid of it, you need to get rid of that one half, just multiply by the reciprocal. Because two over one times one over two is one, right? 1 times x is just x equals 1 times 2 over 1, which is 2. Because you can change 1 to 1 over 1 equals that. OK, that's a fraction review. I went over that so you know, even though you don't like them, you can at least hopefully try to follow it. However, what a lot of times I tell my students to kind of avoid fractions, because a lot of times they don't have the practice, and they are bound to make a lot more mistakes. So the other way we can do this is just get rid of the fractions. Fractions are a division problem, right? 1 divided by 4, correct? So how do we undo division? If we're, if we're looking to solve an equation, how do we undo division? I, yeah, you're going to multiply. So you're going to want to multiply by the denominator of each, prop, of each um, term. Well, they have different denominators. So which one do you choose? Do you choose both? Do you choose one or the other? You want to choose the least common denominator, correct? So the least common denominator between 2 and 4 is going to be, think about it, not the least common, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the least common denominator is the same thing as like the least common multiple. What do two, 4 and 2 both divide into? What's the smallest number they both divide into? Well, 2 divides into 4 and 2, but what's the smallest number that 4 and 2 divide into? 4, exactly. So you multiply every term times 4. 4 times 1 divided by 4 is 1. Or you can look at it, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus 4 times 1 half, 1 half of 4 is 2x equals, and then here, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Or you could say 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Now, you can solve from here, right? This is, we like it when we don't have our fractions. And you see we get the exact same answer. Okay? If you're, 
fractions, it's not that bad. This one's not that bad to deal with fractions. Um, however, a lot of students just prefer to get rid of the fractions and solve from that. All right, so it's kind of two different ways. So.